I know that wrestlers face a, a risk of um, uh, having several different types of infections. Let's right. talk about uh, staph infection first. Can yeah. you tell us uh, more about uh, staph infection and how uh, wrestlers can prevent that? Yeah, absolutely, and that's a big, a big uh, uh, interest of mine. And uh, uh, in, in terms of prevention, I mean, the, the big thing is the emergence of methicillin resistant staph, the resistant staph that you have. And and I consider all, most all staph now is is, is methicillin resistant. If I see something, I assume it's methicillin resistant until proven otherwise. Because if you don't, you treat it with the wrong antibiotic, and they can get out of control. In terms of what we we have in, imposed uh, protocols for uh, prevention of staph infections, as we do with herpes and and all other types of uh, infections. Basically, everyone you know before you know everyone if they there and it's a lot of it is in, is education to the trainers and wrestlers. And I talk to the trainers and wrestlers before every year. Say, listen, you have something on you, you know, let us look at it and we'll tell you what it is. And then we'll, we see whether we need to fix it so we don't get something out of control. And, you know, there, there, you know, the staff is everyone comes in, I think I got a spider bite. I mean, there's no spider bites. There are, but when someone has a spider bite, it's assumed to be MRSA or, or staff infection until proven otherwise. But, you know, we, we have everyone check themselves and the trainer checks them if there's any question every day. The mats are wiped down every day, as well as the equipment. And we take all of the, uh, the, the tape, and the foam things off the aerodynes and things like that, because that can harbor, harbor, you know, not just uh, uh, staff, but also, you know, the funguses of ringworm. Um, we everyone washes their clothes every day, and that includes their 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 knee pads, head gears. Uh, another big thing is we don't let them share any type of equipment, it either be headgears, uh, knee pads. We don't let them share razors. And I'm a big proponent of not having them do any type of body shaving. A lot of the guys in high school and college like to shave their body because you know because it makes you know it looks in terms of it looks makes them look better. But that increases the risk of getting uh, skin infections. Also, no one leaves the room after practice until they shower. They cannot leave the room until they shower. And when they shower, they shower with an antibacterial soap like Dial. But you can all, a lot of the schools have gone to the chlorhexidine so, soaps, which are very effective against staph. Uh, and then if someone comes up with a skin lesion, okay, for example, they, they come in and they they got a, like an infected hair follicle, which is usually staph or things like it looks like it's staph, we look at them. If we can culture it, we culture it so we know what we're treating, okay, and they're out of the room until it don't cover that because it seeps through. We, we get them out of the room, have them do running, aerobic. They can't work out in the workout stuff. They got to get out of the room until it's taken care of. And with, do, doing those things, uh, the infection rate has been significantly lowered, uh, and we don't have these people that are coming in with draining abscesses, wrestling in the room, and, and infecting everyone else. And it gets to be a—I mean, you know—you got to shut down your wrestling room to get rid of it all. Just for uh, the people in the audience who might not know, when somebody has a staph infection, they say, that, "Oh, they have a spider bite. They have uh, an area on their skin. It looks a little bit red." Is that something that's uh, painful, or the, do the athletes have fevers, or are there other things they should look for to say, "Hey, this is a staph infection"? Those things hurt, and then they eventually, and they, and the, the type of the, as you know, the type of uh, 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 MRSA uh, has a, a special gene on it, and it abscesses very quickly. So if you don't get to it, you get an abscess, and if you if you don't, uh, and it's very painful, and it's kind of like a big big boil. If you don't get it. And, and 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 if it's and if it's uh and if it's in the abscess, then you have to open it up and drain it to effectively treat it, and it and it and it progresses very rapidly, and you can develop a very li- large boil or abscess on your leg, and that is very very painful. And you know the thing about spider bites, do people get spider bites? Yeah, but you know in, in this it's that's that's you know we assume that those the, those things that they call spider bites are staph, and they are in pre- the, the vast majority of the time. 